Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to showcase the only demon art so far in Anime Fighting Simulator X. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, so before we showcase this one, Gamer Nom, I know your question how to unlock the demon art. So, guys, this is not an easy task. First, you need the Dakir Ribbon. So, how do you obtain the Dakir Ribbon? Located at the final island, there's a cave under the base station. You will find Ducky. Yes, this is Ducky. It's no more one shot. And sadly, no more one shot for her. But you can still AFK grind her. I'm gonna show you later how to do that. Anyways, once you get a ribbon from her, that is not easy. Then straight to the other room here on the cave. And there you go. You can summon Agiotaru here. There you go. Now guys, I have a question for you. What is the easiest way to kill him or any boss in the game? So someone commented this on my video. There you go guys, this dude. Gamer no, we shouldn't use abilities on typical bosses that spawn every 10 minutes, but instead use M1. Hmm. Okay guys, I'll try this one, but Gyotaro is not a typical boss, right? But let's try this one first, okay? So for the first boss, let's try Arlong. Eh? Rated on the Frozen Island. Let's check it out. Okay, Arlongo. Sorry guys, Arlongo. So we're just gonna use M1. Let's see if this will work. No skills. Boom! Guys, did you see that? We even got the fin. <laughs> guys, that's fast. Okay, so for our next boss, let's try this one on the Armored Titan. Okay? Armored Titan. Let's go. Left clicks only. Okay, let's go. One. Whoa! Guys, two clicks. <laughs> okay, okay. This one's fun. Next one. Hand Demon located on this island. The Demon Slayer Island. Actually, there is a new island. Uh, the reference is Demon Slayer Final Island, right? So there you go. Ooh, easy kill. Okay, so two more bosses, right? Next one is Shokaku. So let's try this one. And again, now I have 90 uh, one-tailed beast shards. Please give me the special so I can use the best transformation in the game. One, two, okay, three hits. Okay, we got another shard. Okay, and we got a fruit. Okay, so let's check this one out. Guys, please, I want a light fruit. It is located 300 meters away. 200, 100. Okay, fast approaching. There you go. And there you go. 20 meters. Please, please, please. What? Oh, another chopped fruit, guys. This is, I think I have more than 150 chopped fruits now. Waste. Frieza, guys. Guys, this one is the hardest boss to defeat using M1. Why Gamer Nom? i show you why. <laughs> Check this out. M1. Let's start. See that, guys? He's gonna jump <laughs> and use his own skill. So, yeah. It's hard to hit because it's also uh, kind of small compared to other bosses. And that's it. Okay, for our last boss, we got the monkey. So this monkey was buffed. Actually, the HP changed a lot. Uh, previous one, 900k, it returned to 100k, now 100k, and the level cap was changed. So there you go, guys. Very easy. We got the tail. So that's it. Again, we concluded that M1 is really good. Shout out to at Uferson. So guys, for those who's watching, make sure to comment your tip or suggestion, and I will feature you. Okay, guys, next up. So can you use M1 on Gyotaro? The answer is not all the time, but I am using it now guys. See that guys? M1 plus some skills. There you go. It's really fast. Okay, so yes. The answer is yes and no. 41,000 is the damage for M1. So that's a lot. But guys, check the HP. It's 15 million for Gyotaro. So, yeah, the damage is really good. But you can you need to dodge sometimes. Because again, some of the skills of Gyotaro has a high damage. See that? So as a conclusion, use M1 plus some of your skills. But the best way to kill Gyotaro is still killing him with your friends, right? Also, shout out to all the Shichibukais on my Discord server. On our Discord server. Okay, guys. Also, just a reminder, guys. It is not easy to get this special. It took me more than 30 Gyotaros. Meaning 30 Dakis, Daki Ribbons. So, make sure to be patient. Now, guys, to the skills. Okay, so first up, we got the Z skill. Here you go, the Flying Blood Sickles. Guys, I'm gonna show you how this works okay so check this out guys there's no damage right 
technique here is never directly hit an enemy. What are you talking about, Gamer Nom? Check this out, guys. This one has damage. So, guys, in a different angle. Guys, if you're facing an enemy, see that? No damage. Shift lock won't also help you. There you go. No damage. So, what is the correct way, Gamer Nom? The correct way is to aim far. Make sure that the blades of your skill will go through your enemy. Like, for example, this one. See that? I was able to hit all of them. Okay, why are you showing us this, Gamer Nom? Because we're gonna grind masteries. And this will make grinding a lot faster. So guys, let's try the thugs here. Again, if your aim is incorrect, see that? You will only attack once. Again, one more time. Okay. So this is the correct way. There you go. See that? Two died here, guys. Again, two enemies will die. There you go. Okay, so this is the correct way. Also, you can use Madara Champ. For faster cooldown or shorter cooldown. So is this, is this gamer num the best way to grind your mastery? Guys, no, you can also head to the San Jonin, the San Village, because you can kill three here at a time. There you go with one Z skill. Plus, when you unlock your exit skill, kill this three here, and then there is a mob here to your right. You can use your exit to kill him and use your Z skill to kill the three in front of you. Okay? There you go. Lastly, guys, I tried to defeat the Saiyans. I think this is the best area. Why? Because every time I kill... See that? Yutaro, uh, special levels up. Again, exit skill here. See that? Level up again. So we're going back to another one. Another level up. Okay? Anyways, here it is. We're gonna showcase the two final skills. The Rampant Arc Rampage. This one. Check that out, guys. Lots of damage. So, are we gonna count the final damage? No, guys, it's up to you. <laughs> That's a lot, guys. It's hard to count. For the range, this is the maximum range. So, this is a circular damage, right? For the range. Next up is the rotating circular slashes. So, there you go, guys. For the range, there you go. This one, I think I can count. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, after this. Okay. So, the damage is... 37,604 plus 7 ticks. So that's like 200,000 plus damage. So Game Room, is it worth it? For me, yes. Since it is the only demon art available so far in the game. And before we end this video, guys. AFK grinding Ducky using this demon art is possible. So you stay on this area. There you go. Stone strat, right? So guys, you need to look straight. Okay? You should hit a wall because you're gonna use your Z skill. And X and C. Okay? Z... X and C skill plus Rasin Shuriken. Also, this will work on mobile. So, if you have mobile phone, use that. <laughs> Overnight grinding. Also, Solar Flare is good. Yes. Again, same strategy. Use your Z, X, C. So, and Solar Flare. I should have used Madara here. Yeah, for higher chakra damage. There you go. So, I think that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you learned something. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out! <laughs>